back to why in the morning special thanks to alex and joy for always starting our wednesdays on a laughing note uh, so it's time for strength of woman and uh, before i introduce my guest white54 channel on twitter white54 underscore channel on instagram and white54 on facebook is the way to interact with us hashtag is why in the morning hashtag is queens wednesday and hashtag strength of a woman so back to my guest uh, her she is a kenyan actor she is a model she is a voice artist and most importantly the founder of the grace cup which is transforming lives. AB, what do you mean? Karibu san. Asante. All right, your camera is number four. Yeah. Uh, just in case I missed anything, I like to give people a chance to list their credentials. So a brief intro, uh, camera number four. Just look them straight into that. <laughs> uh. Hi, um, I think you did a very good intro, <laughs> by the way. Uh, my name is Ebi Weime, mm. and like you said, I am the founder of the Grace Cup. And mm. apart from that, I am a model and actor. Also, I do lots of voiceovers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So uh, you have a beautiful voice. Asante. At what point <laughs> did you know uh, I can make money off uh, being a voiceover artist? Actually, just that just happened. Just that, happened. Yeah, that was not planned. Uh -huh. um, I went. I moved to Cape Town just after graduating from Daystar in 2011. Uh -huh. I moved there as a model. Mm -hmm. Then I just stumbled upon acting, mm -hmm. and like my first acting gig was a Hollywood movie. Mm -hmm. So I did Death Race Three, and uh -huh. then it was while doing it that uh -huh. I realized, oh, most actors also double up as voice act, uh, mm -hmm. voice artists, because. When you're doing voice, it's uh -huh. you're acting. You're but acting. You're yeah. not seeing your voice. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing your face, but you're hearing your voice. So you're acting. Right. So like most of them would do like animations mm -hmm. and they'll do characters. They do radio commercials and uh, documentaries. I have a good friend of mine who's like she's known for doing like BBC, like nature channels, and uh -huh. you know. Um, so I was like, yeah, why don't I try it? Uh -huh. But then when I was in Cape Town, I found that my niche was in Swahili because they they did lots of voiceovers, but they didn't have Swahili speakers. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got into it. So they would take me because, okay, no one else is speaking. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I got to learn on the job. Voice. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to learn on the job. And also from there, then on, I, I grew. Mm -hmm. I molded myself um, to getting to a point of not just doing Swahili, but also doing English. Mm -hmm. So most of my, so my voice is, they have different categories of voices mm -hmm. when you're there. So my voice is categorized as neutral African. Neutral a, a neutral African accent right. in the sense of so when you hear commercial or when you hear something on on radio or TV mm -hmm. you can't really pinpoint where this voice is if you don't see my face mm -hmm. you wouldn't really know is this one Kenyan is she South African so is she Nigerian so it's African, African uh -huh. yeah but you don't know from which part of Africa from which part of Africa which works well because uh -huh. most commercials are um, they're shot but uh -huh. then they're shown in most Countries. Different countries. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you don't have a budget to do a commercial for each country. So if you uh -huh. have a neutral accent, then you can go anywhere. All right. So uh, yeah. everybody likes it cheaper. So it's cheaper to use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. uh, anyway, born and raised in Kenya. Yes. All right. Uh, your passion was in acting always? No. Uh, no, not <laughs> acting. You never imagined. No. I wanted to, to be a model. I wanted, wanted to, to be a model. What did you say in Daystar? The runway. Uh, PR and marketing. PR and marketing. Mm. All right. Uh, were you modeling while still in Daystar? Yes, I right. used to do a lot of modeling while at Daystar, but then I realized if I wanted to do this full time, by then, I don't know if the market has changed right now, but by mm -hmm. then you could not do it as a full time job. Mm -hmm. So, and, and this is what I wanted to do as my career, as mm -hmm. my job. So I realized very early on that if I wanted to grow in this, then I can not do it in the Kenyan market, I'll have to move. All right. So the chance to move to South Africa came and I grabbed it. Who are some of the celebrities you met maybe in South Africa <laughs> while shooting these <laughs> Hollywood films? Um, um, so I've worked with Charlize mm -hmm. Theron. I've worked with Sean Penn. Mm -hmm. He directed me in The Last Face. Mm -hmm. um, I've also worked with Helen Mirren. I've worked with Bakad Abdi. Mm -hmm. I've also done um, uh, Philip Noyce. Mm -hmm. I also worked with, he was an amazing director. Mm -hmm. um, I worked with, uh, what's his name? The guy the guy from the guy from uh, the show. He's this going day. to be so mad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. Paul, Paul, Aaron, uh, Paul, Aaron, Aaron Paul, Paul. Mm -hmm. Aaron Paul is the one that did this show. This um, this show, uh, Breaking Bad. Breaking if you Bad. watch Breaking uh -huh. Bad, yeah. yeah, he's the one who did it. Very nice guy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and the list I, is yeah. I, I keep forgetting people, so right. let me not continue <laughs> dropping names. All right, all right. Uh, after all this, after all this, uh, this experience in South Africa, uh, what can you what can you say about the the industry uh, comparing South Africa and Kenya as a model and as a, as an actor and as a voiceover artist? Um, well, definitely, there's a is huge Kenya difference. Is Kenya the place to be, or you'd like to go back to Cape Town for sure? 
uh, I don't know. For uh. me, Cape Town, I feel like my work in Cape Town is done. Mm -hmm. Though I would still, my, my, I still have my friends there. I still, mm -hmm. my, my managers, my, my agents are still there. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't mind going back to do like a project and coming back mm -hmm. because I feel like the Grace Cup is now my baby. Mm -hmm. So before acting used to be number one on my list, mm -hmm. but now the Grace Cup is number one and mm -hmm. acting comes um, a, a very close second. Right. Um, but when I'm to compare the two markets, because I haven't really, I can say the past, since I came back in 2017, mm -hmm. acting was not really a priority because mm -hmm. like this was like a non-existent business that I had to bring to life. So I had to mm -hmm. put in a lot of my time. It's only this year that I've really started like getting back into into acting and mm -hmm. like taking on different projects. I can say if, if I'm to compare it to when I left mm -hmm. in in 2011, the industry has definitely grow. There's de grown. There's mm -hmm. definitely a lot of appreciation when it comes mm -hmm. to the arts. Um, there's still definitely a long way to go. Mm -hmm. um, having said that, also South Africa has its own problems. I'm not saying it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Even Hollywood has its own problems. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're comparing those problems, Kenya is definitely at the bottom. <laughs> we you have know? Uh, too yeah. many problems that we need to solve. Yes. But it's work in progress. Yeah, right? yeah. Being an actor, being a, being a voiceover artist, being a model, it's very easy to get uh, lost in the sauce mm. uh, but you found your way uh, and do to do some humanitarian work as much as it is a business and you're selling it's uh, it's a, it borders between humanitarian work and a business How, what inspired you to just uh, at least take some time off the lights camera and action uh, to do this particular thing well, um, for me, it, it started out as a personal problem before mm -hmm. it even became uh, before it even became a business. So, two reasons. One, one of which was I used to be used to bleed very heavily. Mm -hmm. So during my period, I'd wear uh, both a pad and a tampon mm -hmm. at the same time just to cushion everything. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you're on set or when you're doing runways and all that, sometimes the outfit that you're wearing cannot really go with mm -hmm. with you know with the product that you're using. And these mm -hmm. are products you have to use because mm -hmm. you're having a period um, and the second of it was the second problem was I don't know if you've gone to a mall and you found these ladies who are always like donate a pad give mm -hmm. money uh -huh. charity uh -huh. yes, so I used to do that yeah so I used to do that a lot because I could empathize I could be like well I can afford it and I'm this mm -hmm. stressed about it what uh -huh. if you don't uh, you cannot afford it what's mm -hmm. your you know how do you handle it so I used to like donate you know a hundred bob there 500 mm -hmm. here but then at some point I was like yeah but for how long will I be doing this for how long will I be um, donating and doing all this mm -hmm. so I was like you know what we need a permanent solution so I stopped donating out of principle mm -hmm. I was like um, we need to find a permanent solution mm -hmm. um, if not then I, I don't know how long I can sustain mm -hmm. these handouts right. so I simply just googled I was mm -hmm. like what else can I use mm -hmm. you know if I don't want a pad or a tampon what Dr. else can Google. I use? <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then the cup came off uh -huh. um, and then luckily uh, there was actually a lady in South Africa producing her own cups mm -hmm. so I was like great then I can just buy in mm -hmm. South Africa. So the first time I saw it, uh, I got it. The first time when I when I actually heard about it, when I read about it, I was like, what? Mm -hmm. People do this? Mm -hmm. Like how? I was not convinced, mm -hmm. actually. The first so, time? Yeah. So, so you're not surprised if people ask no. too many questions the first time they see this? No, mm -hmm. I am never surprised. Even when I find people who don't believe and they're like, this is ridiculous and this mm -hmm. is this and that, I always see myself in them because mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I used mm -hmm. to be there. <laughs> I used to be there. It's a journey. You're going yeah. to get here. Yeah. I'm All like, right. don't worry. You, you, you'll get there. All right. So, uh... When you first uh, found this lady in South Africa producing her own, uh, what step did you take? You bought your own mm -hmm. first. At mm -hmm. what point did you consider uh, telling Kenyans about it and just uh, spreading the awareness and just getting to that point of uh, uh, forming the Grace Cup and now you have stores that, that sell them? Yeah, so that was back in 2016 when I got my first cup. Mm -hmm. um, again, when I got it, I, I, I came home because I, I used to come home every Christmas. So I came home, but by the time my period started in December, I was not ready to use it because I was in my auntie's house mm -hmm. and I just felt like I'm not comfortable and all mm -hmm. that. So I told my auntie about it and she was like, oh, it seems amazing. Please give it to me. Mm -hmm. So I, I gave it to her. I didn't even use it. Mm -hmm. um, but then I kept asking my friends around, like, mm -hmm. do you guys know about the cup? Mm -hmm. Do you, what do you think? Is it a good idea and mm -hmm. all of them were like yeah it sounds good but we've never seen it but mm -hmm. it sounds like something I could use you mm -hmm. know like it sounds very con uh, convenient and mm -hmm. it's cost-saving and saves the environment so I 
it just ha so happened that at that point, I felt like my acting or my time in Cape Town had come to an end. Mm -hmm. It was just a feeling, the same feeling that I had before I left Nairobi. I felt like my time in Nairobi had come to an end. Mm -hmm. I'd finished Daystar and I needed to go out there. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where I wanted to go, but I needed to go. Mm -hmm. So I started having the same feelings again in Cape Town. I started feeling like Cape Town was too small for me. And I felt like my career was good, but mm -hmm. it's, it's on a plateau. Mm -hmm. Like it's not going down, it's not going up. It's just it's there, there uh -huh. you know, and that can get really st stressful mm -hmm, because, you, mm -hmm. yeah, you just don't feel like there's any growth. Yes, mm -hmm. you're not going down, but there's you're no growth. You're not inspired. No, uh -huh. there was no inspiration at all. I was starting to feel like I need to do something, mm -hmm. but I didn't know what exactly I wanted to do. What I knew for sure was mm -hmm. I'm not getting a nine to five. <laughs> that I knew for sure, because I've never held a nine to five in my life. You're such an artist. <laughs> yeah. I've never uh, held it. All right, so, yeah. uh, and then you came back to Kenya. Yeah. All right, so who's producing these ones? for you right now so this one the clear one that mm. we call the grace cup gold mm -hmm. is the lady in south africa mm -hmm. these are made in south africa mm -hmm. and then just so that we have variety i also found another um, uh, a producer from china mm -hmm. who's making our grace cup light the right. pink one right. yeah so i have both what material is used to make this in this is made from medical grade silicon mm -hmm. so medical grade silicon is the exact same uh, material that they use on babies uh, the tits that they suck on mm -hmm. the ones that they use for the the baby the pacifiers mm -hmm. is the same same material. Mm -hmm. um, also in hospital catheters, the the, the one that you, they use in hospital mm -hmm. is made from this material. From this material. Yeah. All right. So it's uh, it doesn't affect, it doesn't react anyway with the body. There are no chemicals. Mm -hmm. Nothing else has been added. When I say it's medical grade, mm -hmm. that's it. That's it. All right. So so many questions uh, pop uh, when people hear about the cup uh, for the first time. Uh, some of them might sound dumb. But uh, people just uh, people are, are scared to adapt mm. to technology or new things mm -hmm. uh, for the first time. So some of them that people told me to ask you in particular, okay. uh, one of them is, Ta are, th are there leakages? Yes, leakages can happen, mm -hmm. but they can only happen if the cup is not completely. Uh, should I demonstrate how to use it yes, so that for you can, sure. you can mm -hmm. see how a leakage can happen? Mm -hmm. So how it's used, there are basically two ways of folding it. You can also fold mm -hmm. it with me. So that's the bigger one. This is mm -hmm. the small cup that we have. Mm -hmm. So how to fold it is if flat like this. Flat like this. And then it's this folded into half. Here. Yes. It has to be in line with the other one. Not really. Not really. Not right. a must, but uh -huh. you just fold it into half. Uh -huh. And then it forms like this, and uh -huh. then it looks like this. So this is called a C fold uh -huh. because it forms sort of a letter C. Uh -huh. That's why you called it the C fold. Uh -huh. Another way of, of folding it is what we call the punch down. So you just hold the cup like this, uh -huh. and then you punch it, uh, press it, and uh -huh. then you drag it all the way to the end. Uh -huh. And then it looks something like this. Uh -huh. Looks like a spoon. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You just hold it. Yeah, yes, like this. And then you, right. you hold it like Ch that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, you're actually very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were a user. <laughs> so it's folded like that. And then it's inserted mm -hmm. inside the vagina. So mm -hmm. a lady could squat or put mm -hmm. one leg up. I have another lady who says she only inserts it when she's lying flat on her bed. Mm -hmm. There's no, the good thing about the cup is there's no wrong way of mm -hmm. doing it. You do what you feel is comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. It's tailor made for you. Bodies are different. Yes, the bodies are different, mm -hmm. yes. So it's inserted like this and then it opens up right. like that. It pops open. Uh -huh. So as you can see, there are four holes around it right mm -hmm. even yours has four holes mm -hmm. so these holes they create a vacuum mm -hmm. a vacuum to make sure that no leakages happen mm -hmm. also no air goes in because mm -hmm. air is what usually causes the bad smell when you're having a period uh -huh. so most women think that a period has a smell but uh -huh. actually that's false uh -huh. it's because when you're wearing sorry when you're when you're wearing a pad uh -huh. the moment the blood is exposed to air uh, it causes right. the bad smell mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but like i said the cup itself is airtight mm -hmm. which means everything that's inside stays inside mm -hmm. which means there's no bad smell right. so um yeah so to, this cup you can stay with it the moment it's inside like this you can stay with it for up to 12 hours mm -hmm. with no need of changing no need which of change. means the moment you wear it in the morning you only mm -hmm. take it out in the evening mm -hmm. when when your day is done mm -hmm. so um to take it uh, when the your question about leakage is mm -hmm. now so when it's inserted, so say you've inserted it, but it's not completely open. See, mm -hmm. if there's something like this, it uh -huh. means then the vacuum has been compromised. So what you need to do is you need to pinch the base to mm -hmm. hold the base like this. Mm -hmm. This is something that I also do, and uh, I'm a pro at the cup, but I still do it as a final check. Uh -huh. Because you see, the moment it's inside, there's no way of knowing if mm -hmm. it's open or not. So you just pinch the base like this, mm -hmm. and then you rotate it. You rotate it slowly. Like mm. the same way you rotate a bulb mm -hmm. is the same way you rotate so it. So the holes are going to help. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. So by, by doing so, you see, if it's not completely open, uh -huh. by rotating it, it makes sure that any side that uh -huh. was not open uh -huh. is now completely open. To create a full vacuum. Yes, to create the full vacuum. Uh -huh. Another way of checking it, if you don't want to rotate it, is simply to just take your finger and just run your finger around uh -huh. to see if there's any side uh -huh. that is not open. All and right. I know now the question is, will there be enough space All for right. the cup <laughs> and my finger at the same time? Right. And the answer is yes. The answer is yes, because yeah. it's quite flexible. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, the thing Thank you for the lesson. Uh, Should I uh, just one more thing? How uh, to take it out? How to take it out? Yeah, oh, how to take it out. Also. Yeah. yeah. So remember, you created a vacuum, right? Uh -huh. So when you're taking it out, you will not pull it the same way you pull it a tamp. We mm -hmm. put a, tamp a tampon mm -hmm. because uh, think of the kitchen pump. Mm -hmm. When you place it on the ground, what mm -hmm. happens? It gets stuck, S yeah, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, because because of the vacuum that is created. Mm -hmm. So because of that same vacuum, when you're taking it out, you don't pull the cup. You mm -hmm. can, but it will be uncomfortable. So mm -hmm. what you need to do is just take your two fingers and just pinch. All right. You just pinch here. Mm -hmm. The moment you pinch here, you compromise the, the seal mm -hmm. and then it just releases the air uh -huh. and then you slide it out. And then you need to be really careful. Yeah, in the sense of like spilling and uh -huh. all that. Yeah, um, I find that even for me when I started out, uh -huh. there was a bit of spilling here and there. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing it either in the shower or in the toilet, then it's mm -hmm. fine because it goes fine. directly in. It's going to be in. washed away. Yeah, mm -hmm. but with time you'll get to know how where everything is positioned and mm -hmm. how to take it out without spilling. So 12 hours maximum. Yes, that's Whether the recommended. Whether you have a heavy flow yes, or a light, or light flow. Yeah. 12 hours, 12 hours is, good is the recommended maximum. All right. Yeah. So uh, the other big question uh, is uh, from what age? Uh, can it be used? The cup can be used from the moment you start your period. So from whether it's you start your period. 12, 13 years old, mm -hmm. it can be started, uh, you can start using the cup at any age. At and any I know age. your mm -hmm. next question is about virginity, yes, right? For will, sure. it, will it affect virginity? Because mm -hmm. I get that question. Or every yes, single Yes, that was time. the next one. Yeah. After so, age, obviously. No, uh -huh. it does not break your virginity. And mm -hmm. actually, it's um, last week I was actually, we were actually talking to a gynecologist who actually explained it even way better than I could. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, this is where the hymen is. This mm -hmm. is where your the virginity is. Mm -hmm. So the, the hymen already has a hole mm -hmm. inside when you're born, that your hymen already has a hole. Mm -hmm. That's why when you're having a period, you could have a period and you're still a virgin. Mm -hmm. So if it was completely sealed, then it was it would have been impossible for mm -hmm. you to have your period. Mm -hmm. So there's already a hole in the hymen, mm -hmm. and that hole in the hymen is where the cup goes in. Mm -hmm. And also that that cup that hole in the hymen is where, uh, for example, if you use a tampon, mm -hmm. so it does not compromise your virginity. Your virginity mm -hmm. is still intact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's no need to worry. No, kids no can need to use worry. This. Yeah. And right uh, now we have kids as young as 13 years old in Kibera already using a cup. Already using it. So uh, awareness is the most important thing when it's when it comes to this. Yes. Right, what is uh, the Grace Cup as an organization doing uh, to get this to the people who need it the most? Because uh, uh, I'm told this can go can last up to 10 years. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the Grace uh, Cup doing as an organization doing to get this to people who need it the most? Yes. Yeah, so as an organization, what we do, because at the end of the day, we're still a business. Mm -hmm. We're not an NGO. Mm -hmm. So we do, um, like recently, we partnered with FCA, mm -hmm. FCA's Finn Church Aid. So we're working with girls in Kakuma mm -hmm. to, because something else I did not mention, mm -hmm. and I should have said it in the intro, by the way, mm -hmm. is that I am a, menstrual, a certified menstrual hygiene trainer. Mm -hmm. I'm actually very proud of that. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I am a certified menstrual hygiene trainer mm -hmm. I was certified by the Ministry of Health mm -hmm. in Kenya so what my job basically is is I, te I talk to people both boys and girls all ages mm -hmm. about menstruation mm -hmm. because we've realized there's a very huge gap even adults don't know uh -huh. much about when it comes to periods because mm -hmm. for a long time it was seen as a woman's issue mm -hmm. and not really everybody's issue mm -hmm. that's why we still have a problem with pads right now that people are not talking about because mm -hmm. it's a very secret issue mm -hmm. so we're trying to make it public so what I do is is uh, create awareness when mm -hmm. it comes to hey we have a problem when it comes to menstruation our girls are not talking about this uh, even our women um, older women who have say domestic workers they cannot go to work when they have their periods because they don't have the necessary uh, products to mm -hmm. use so we're trying to create this awareness so what I'm um, so with FCA what I'm doing with them and the girls in Kakuma and the boys is where we have like a curriculum mm -hmm. where we we strictly talk about menstruation and things to do with menstruation like mm -hmm. why is it coming why is it painful? Why am mm -hmm. I having a mood swing? How does it work? How do I calculate my dates? Mm -hmm. Because it's a very big problem where girls are just sitting in class and all of a sudden, whoop, 
I'm having my period. Mm -hmm. And you didn't know your dates. I don't know how to calculate my dates. Mm -hmm. No one told me how to do such things. Mm -hmm. So we have a situation where the teacher is expecting the parent to mm -hmm. talk to their girls about it. Mm -hmm. And the parents are like, well, I'm paying you, so <laughs> you should talk to my girl about it. You know? <laughs> so so there's pointing of fingers. Yes. How was the reception uh, for the boys? Because I remember when we were in primary school, it was such a taboo. It was not anything to be talked about. And girls were going through their periods at an early age like that one. Uh, they were looked at some type of way. Uh, so how was the reception for the boys at this day and age? Because girls really need uh, the support and strength. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. tell you a little secret, but actually my favorite people to train are the boys. Because mm -hmm. boys are always so curious and they have all these questions. Mm -hmm. And finally, when they meet someone like me who they're very comfortable with, they mm -hmm. finally ask everything. Like, I've mm -hmm. always wondered, I've always, you know, like I see my sister doing this or my mm -hmm. mom doing this or my girlfriend, but I never know who to ask, mm -hmm. you know. So I find um, they're always very curious and I teach them even about the cup. I teach them how to use the cup because mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what, we're living in a generation where we're, we are, we're having single dads. Uh -huh. who are raising girls, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. So why should a sensitive topic, when it comes to this, I'm like, as a dad, you're like, go talk to your auntie, or go talk to, <laughs> you know, you, you're my dad. Uh -huh. If I can talk to you about everything, I should be able to talk to you about my period. Mm -hmm. So I will not, uh, as, a, as a parent or as a single dad, you should also be able to to authoritatively teach your girl about this. Mm -hmm. And if, and, if it's, and even if it's not your girl, your sister, you have, mm -hmm. what what I love about the period is there's always a menstruating girl near you. Mm -hmm. that's, all, that's always what I say. There's guaranteed <laughs> uh -huh. there will be a girl who's an, in a mm -hmm. menstruating age mm -hmm. that could benefit from this. Mm -hmm. So I always teach boys about it. I teach girls as well. Um, and the reception is very good. They're, they're always like, oh, thank you. Oh, you've answered questions that I always, I always ask. And the thing about menstruation is it's very close to reproductive health. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I try as much to create the line mm -hmm. because now questions about sex always come up, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. especially with the boys. Mm -hmm. It's a guarantee. Every time I talk to the boys, they're like, <laughs> they're going to ask can I get a girl <laughs> pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> if she's on her period, you know, right. such questions always come up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. But uh, you try to draw the line because yes. you're trying to focus on this particular topic. On menstruation. Right, so how can they get a hold of uh, the Grace Cup online uh, before we proceed to your next project? Yeah. Uh. Um, so we, we, we are the, the Grace Cup. It's the Grace Cup. Just mm -hmm. Grace Nema and mm -hmm. Cup like Kikombe. Mm -hmm. And we're everywhere on social media. That's Instagram. It's the Grace Cup. On Facebook, it's the Grace Cup. On YouTube, it's the Grace Cup. Mm -hmm. And our contacts are there as well. Mm -hmm. We also have shops um, at Valley Arcade mm -hmm. and also in town. Mm -hmm. We have shops where you can just walk in and, and buy it. And mm -hmm. if you're not in Nairobi, don't worry, we deliver everywhere in East Africa. All right. Yeah. A quick one. Uh, somebody's asking, how how did you get to be a, a trainer? What did you call it again? A menstrual hygiene a trainer. Menstrual M hygiene. We call it MHM. 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 How do you get to be <laughs> that? Because uh, uh, she thinks the more they are, the better yes. it is for the girls around. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, so the guys from, I guess people are just watching me. I don't know. But the guys from um, the Ministry of Health, mm -hmm. they're the ones who actually sent me an email one day. And they're like, mm -hmm. hey, we're having this training. So they got basically all stakeholders. People are interested. Mm -hmm in matters um, pertaining to uh, menstruation mm -hmm. and they they got us all at um, at, at a safari club mm -hmm. and we all met there and they trained us mm -hmm. it was like a three-day training they trained us they gave us certificates and they're like go forth all right so white five four channel on twitter white five four underscore channel on instagram and white five four on facebook hashtag is why in the morning i never ever forget tell us where you're watching us from keep your questions coming i direct them to to her right there she'll be very willing to answer them i see your instagram uh, on our screen right there yeah and i see you teach a lot on your instagram it's yes. not about selfies for you yeah, yeah. <laughs> I teach a lot because I find there's just a lot of, uh, like the Bible says, uh, my people perish because of lack of knowledge, mm -hmm. you know. And I find that the more you the more you know about what products you're using and mm -hmm. what's happening to your body, the better it is for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying don't use this, don't use that. But mm -hmm. I'm saying, do you know what's in this? Mm -hmm. Do you know what's in that? Mm -hmm. So that you get all the information and at the end of the day decide, you know what, even having known all this information, this is still the product that mm -hmm. I choose. Right. So it's about options and choices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, this I had a scare about this topic because I knew the questions were going to come uh, in in numbers. So yeah. uh, we'll address the last one, and this yeah. one is about how do you clean it after? 
Oh yes, that's also soap, very important. Or yeah. with detergent, or with what, or with just clean water. So the good thing yeah. about the cup is like is that it's very cost effective in mm -hmm. the sense of maintenance. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to uh, uh, sterilization, uh, in between the period, you mm -hmm. don't have to do. You just rinse it with water, plain mm -hmm. water, no soap, because mm -hmm. it's something that's getting inside your vagina. Mm -hmm. So no soap, mm -hmm. just rinse it with plain water, plain mm -hmm. clean water, reinsert. Then after the period is completely over, mm -hmm. that's when you boil the cup to mm -hmm. sterilize. So right. the best. Before you store it. Yes, before right. you store it. So they usually come in a cute little bag. Uh -huh. So you will boil it for two to five minutes. Just uh -huh. boil it and then um, keep it in your bag. And I know the next question is going to be, which, which sufuria will I use? Is it the same sufuria that I, I used to cook my tea? I was not going to ask that. Word. I, I, right. I always get it. All right, all right. The, question, uh, the answer is no. Uh -huh. Please have a special sufuria. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just any cheap sufuria. A, a very tiny one. You don't right. need a big sufuria. Uh -huh. A very tiny one. They usually go for like two, three hundred bob. Right. And that's it. And it's not something that you're buying every month. You're mm -hmm. just buying the one time. So it's a one time investment. The same way as a cup. It's a one time investment. Can you just boil water and just dip it in a cup and just... Yes, that's another option. Mm -hmm. But then you must get like a sterile like Milton's, uh -huh. like something that can help disinfect. Oh, I because you point. see, you're not boiling. Mm -hmm, you just, mm -hmm. just soak it for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. We're actually working on getting a solution so that people who don't want to boil, they mm -hmm. can actually just add a few drops of the solution mm -hmm. and then to it the sterilizes. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Hashtag Form Nigani. This is another project of yours. Uh, you've yeah. been busy lately. Tell us, uh, just uh, tell us more about this. Um, mm -hmm. Form Nigani is actually uh, a, um, a project where we're just, it's, it's a new campaign mm -hmm. where we're talking about where, where's, our, where's our country going or mm -hmm. where are we as individuals moving to. Mm -hmm. So basically um, the president mm -hmm. coming, back, um, coming back from 2063 mm -hmm. and I see that Kenya is a beautiful place, mm -hmm. everything works perfectly. Mm -hmm. But then the thing for us to be in a perfect world in 2063, it means that there's a lot of work being done right now mm -hmm. in 2019 and decisions, and right yes decisions right and the now. right mm -hmm. decisions being done for us to have a better 2063 mm -hmm. so it's basically just asking people from nigani what's mm -hmm. your plan uh -huh. what's your plan for the future mm -hmm. you know where do you see yourself in the next 10 years mm -hmm. where do you see yourself in 2063 where's mm -hmm. your family where's mm -hmm. your kids how are they mm -hmm. do we ever think of the future because there's mm -hmm. a lot of uh, Bora uh -huh. that is going Bora. that is going on. So you have, a, <laughs> you, you, know? have a, you have another hashtag that is uh, that is going against what you what you're about, which is Form Nigani. Bora is on this side, <laughs> but Form Nigani it reminds yeah. people What's that we need to plan. Mm. Why 2063 in particular? Well, um, 2063 is where we're projecting uh, the, the, the population would have definitely grown mm -hmm. uh, a whole lot mm -hmm. by 2063. And also, if, if, you were to, if you were to change a few things, then projections by 2063 uh, will be very positive. Mm -hmm. But now, like I said, the thing is the change has to be made right now mm -hmm. in 2019. Mm -hmm. Or else this future that we're projecting will just be a dream. All right. Yeah. So you're an activist, in other words. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of. Kind of. You're yeah, the first person to call me an activist. Because <laughs> uh, I, I, you're passionate about good governance. Uh, for us to make uh, this possible, there has to be good governance. Yeah. There has to be education as a pillar. We have to invest in the arts and we have to invest in information, hmm. for sure. Hmm. So, um, right, so baptize you <laughs> as an activist officially. Yeah. All right, uh -huh. so you have issues uh, of magazines uh, under this hashtag. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I've read a copy. An issue, and uh, how can people get to, to know about this particular agenda that you're pushing? Um, so we have just so the film itself will launch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, uh, then after that, then we'll let you know where else you can find it. But right now everywhere on social media. I think mm -hmm. we're very loud <laughs> on okay. social media. But until tomorrow when you actually launch the film and mm -hmm. everything comes uh, and we actually see what it is about, then mm -hmm. it will make more sense mm -hmm. as to where, where we're heading with this whole campaign. All right, so how can they get to see the film for it to make more sense to them? Yeah, so uh -huh. it, it's pr uh, it will premiere uh -huh. uh, tomorrow at Power Two Five Four uh -huh. from six to nine. Na six eight ni ukweli, so six ya so six ya eight, six ish eight ish apana. So uh -huh. from six to eight, uh -huh. uh, from sorry, from six to nine uh -huh. p.m. So that's when we launch the official campaign, uh -huh. and then be sure you'll be just seeing us everywhere in everywhere. your face. Form Nigani or say, yeah. Nigani. All right. Uh, so. Uh, uh, after tomorrow, how can th will they be able to see it online? Yes. The people won't be able to make it to yeah. a, a part of iPhone. Yes. So right. of course, you know, not everybody's going to make it. Mm -hmm. So it will be definitely on YouTube. On YouTube. You're going to see it. YouTube channel. Yeah. Your camera is number four still. Just let them straight into their eyes and tell them.
Um, so we will let you know which exact YouTube channel that mm -hmm. we're going to put it in because we still want to keep everything Chinia mm -hmm. for now mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. until the launch, the official launch. So mm -hmm. after the official launch, definitely on our um, on our Instagram, mm -hmm. you can just find Form Nigani. It's already there. So you will find more details about when it's going to be uploaded and what to expect and more campaigns that are coming up. All right, so Madam yeah. President 2063, uh, what do you think we can do uh, right right now for a better 2063, according to this theory that you have or this concept that you have? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I can say it's the little things that count. Mm -hmm. People just think of huge things and big money, mm -hmm. but it's the small things as not accepting a bribe mm -hmm. and doing things the right way. Mm -hmm. You know, when you see something is being done in a wrong way, like for example, the expose that was there the other day about the meat thing. Mm -hmm. So if you see that is being done, it's mm -hmm. about you as an individual just mm -hmm. say, hey, no, this is wrong. Mm -hmm. Let us not do this. Mm -hmm. As much as, so for example, if you're the, the health inspector mm -hmm. and you're coming in and you're seeing this is happening and mm -hmm. someone is saying, you know what, Shikai one million, mm -hmm. just a nice Achana story, you know, mm -hmm. story, Shikai mm -hmm. one million. As the person, you should be able to say, hey, I've been mm -hmm. entrusted by mm -hmm. the people of this country mm -hmm. to make sure that this does not get to their mouths. Mm -hmm. So this one million will not help me in, in, in any way and mm -hmm. this needs to stop. Right. So it's about not accepting bribes. It's about not littering, you mm -hmm. know, as, as something simple. as simple uh -huh. as littering, mm -hmm. which is a very big pet peeve of mine, mm -hmm. by the way. Uh -huh. Something just, just the small things that mm -hmm. make a huge difference because if you are all doing it mm -hmm. then it becomes something very collective mm -hmm. you see so we don't have to sit here and say serikali's idea mm -hmm. because we can say idea ourselves mm -hmm. yeah all right so to have a clean city we should not just litter the city yeah it's Let's just a not simple thing yeah right, it's, it's, it's not thing. it's nothing uh, what we're talking about to the form nigani is also about uh, f um, uh, planning planning mm -hmm. for your future right. so whether it's planning for your city mm -hmm. uh, how clean do you want nairobi to be in future mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whether it's planning for your family like mm -hmm. how many kids do i um uh, how many kids do i really think i can handle mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. I, I would love to have 10 kids mm -hmm. but can i afford 10 kids, 10, 10 kids you yeah. know and it's about okay then if i cannot afford 10 kids then can i afford five mm -hmm. okay yeah that's possible then let's have family planning mm -hmm. you know it's, it's just planning in every in every aspect because if you want to see a better 2063 we must start planning uh, planning on it right now mm -hmm. in 2019. all right yeah. so uh is ageless uh, there's no particular age that is involved in forming Ghani. we can have the kids from primary school to the yes. oldest people being involved yes. in Form Nigani. Yes. All right. Everybody should be involved from all ages, from nursery to mm. the people in their 90s. All right. Yeah. Your camera is still number four. Uh, your last remarks to the people as we wrap this up. Um, please join the movement. Mm. Hashtag is Form Nigani, mm. F O R M, and then Nigani. You know, mm. Form Nigani, Form Yako Nigani. What's, mm. your, what's your future? What's your future plan? What's your plan for today? To watch Yata Kuishi Maisha Bora Uhai. Like, Kesho, what's your plan? Kesho Kutua, what's your plan? Mm. You know, and in every aspect. All right. Mm. Uh, your social media handle one last time so they can follow, follow, follow for more information. Yes. Mm. So, our social media for the Grace Cup, like I said, it's the Grace Cup everywhere. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then my personal um, social media is on Instagram, it's at Ebiweime, and on YouTube is at The Grace Cup. All right, yeah. Abi Weyeme, right, the uh, founder of the Grace Cup, Grace and uh, Strength of a Woman. Kalami Valley is coming up next with Girls Talk, a hot topic. You don't want to miss it. Buy more, or it's very more on every social media platform.